everyone, Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I will be showing you how you can train your rats to play basketball. Now this trick is useful for training any item-based trick, as it basically teaches your rat to place an item into a container from any location. Prop-wise, you will need a shallow container or duct tape roll, along with a basketball hoop and a small item. Your basketball hoop can be as simple as a duct tape roll taped onto a raised surface, or it can be something more fancy like a DIY hoop or a commercial hoop like the one shown on screen. As far as the item goes, you ideally want to start with something small and easy to pick up, such as a water bottle cap or pen cap. I will be using a mini wiffle ball for this tutorial, but if your rat has trouble picking up a ball, you can always start with an easier item such as the ones listed above, and later generalize this trick to a ball. One final note before we start, and that is if you would like some more information on some of the basics of rat training, feel free to check out my ultimate guide to rat training video, which I will also be linking in the description down below. Now to start teaching basketball, we are going to need to break this trick down into its core steps. There are five main steps to basketball, and those are walking to the item, picking it up, turning with it, walking to the container or hoop, and dropping the item inside. In this tutorial, I will be using a method known as back chaining to combine these steps into one smooth behavior. Back chaining is when you teach the final behavior first, then work backwards to the first behavior. This way, your rat is always working towards what they know best, and this prevents them from getting confused or frustrated while also making the behavior much more consistent. Okay, so to start training a rat to play basketball, you will first want to teach them to pick up the item. To do this, you want to start by rewarding any interest they show in the item, and if they don't show any interest in the item, you can either rub a treat on it or move it around to get your rat interested. Once your rat is showing interest in the object, you can go ahead and reward this, and initially you want to reward them for just looking or sniffing at the item, but as they start to consistently do this, you want to start waiting a second or two to see if they will try to nudge the item or even bite the item. Your goal is for them to be consistently biting the item for a treat, so make sure to keep increasing criteria with the object until they are consistently biting the item. At this point, you want to go ahead and place a shallow container or tape roll in front of your rat. Reward them a few times for free by placing some treats into the container. What this does is it primes your rat to target the inside of the container, and so when you introduce the item, it will be easier to get them to place it into the container, because this is where you have been rewarding them. Now place your item onto one side of the container, and use a treat to lure your rat to it. They should bite the item due to prior training, and you want to try and lure them with your other hand into placing the item into the container. In the beginning, you want to reward your rat anytime they grab the item, even if they completely miss the container. Make sure to always reward inside the container, because this is how you're going to teach them that this is where you want them to target after they grab the item. Once they are confidently grabbing the item from beside the container, you now want to start being more selective at which behaviors you reward. Only rewarding your rat when they either get the item into the container, or at least hit the rim of the container. After repeating this a few more times, you want to again increase criteria, starting to only reward them when they actually get the item into the container. Like with fetch, this is a fairly complex trick, especially if this is your rat's first time working with an item, and so don't expect to see all this progress at once. It's very normal for your rat to need a few sessions to really get this trick down, so continue to work at it and slowly make progress each time. Now once your rat can consistently get the item into the container from one side, you now want to repeat the same thing on the other side. And once your rat can place the item into the container from either side, you then want to start switching it up, placing the item on one side and then the other, and always rewarding your rat when they put the item into the container. Like before, it really helps to continue to reward your rat inside the container, because you really want to reinforce that this is where you want them to be targeting with the item. Once your rat can consistently place the item into the container from either side, you can now start to add distance. Start to place the item a slight distance away from your container, so that your rat has to stretch to grab it. Because we are building criteria, you may need to initially reward your rat even if they miss again, however you want to try and build this up to them getting it into the container each time fairly quickly. If your rat seems very confused about where to place the item when you start to add distance, I suggest that you go back and work at a shorter distance, and then add distance very, very slowly. It's easy to accidentally add too much distance at once, so try and go very slow and make sure that your rat always understands what to do at each step. Once your rat is again getting the item consistently into the container, you now want to work with the other side and do the exact same thing. Don't forget to switch it up, making sure that no matter where you place the item, your rat can get it into the container consistently. Now you want your rat to be able to walk a few steps with the item, so you want to start by placing your item just out of reach of the container, so that your rat has to walk a step or two in order to grab it, and then a step or two back in order to get it into the container. Since we are again increasing criteria, you may need to reward some misses, but like before, if your rat is missing consistently, then you'll want to go back and increase distance more slowly, so that your rat is consistently placing the item into the container at each step. 
Once your rat can walk a step or two in order to grab the item and bring it back to the container, you now want to continue to build steps so that your rat is walking a little bit further in order to grab the item and walking a little bit further in order to return it to the container. As always, you want to make sure to practice this on both sides so that your rat can place the item into the container from a few steps away in either direction. Now you want to start building hoop height. You can either place an item under your container to boost it up a bit, or in the case of using duct tape rolls like me, then you can just place a new one on top of the old one. Because we are increasing a different criteria, you will want to decrease distance, so go ahead and start with the item right next to the container again. Lead your rat to the item, then lure them into placing it into the raised container. Most rats will figure this out pretty quickly, however since we are again increasing criteria, you will want to make sure to reward even misses at first, and gradually work to them consistently placing the item into the raised container each time. Again, if your rat seems to be having trouble with this step, then you want to go back and make sure that you are raising the container at a slower pace in order for your rat to really get the idea. Once your rat is consistently placing the item into the raised container from close up, you want to again build distance until you can place the item several steps away and your rat can consistently go over and get it, and then bring it back and place it into the raised container. At this point, you want to go ahead and place your basketball hoop directly over the container. Place your item next to it, then lure your rat into placing the item into the hoop. Like with the container before, you want to build this up to your rat placing the item into it from several steps away and from any direction. This probably sounds like a lot of repetition of the same pieces, but by the time you get to this step, your rat will likely have practiced this enough that you can skip directly to the end, simply starting with placing the item a few steps away and having them walk with it and place it into the hoop. Once your rat is consistently placing the item into the hoop from any direction, you can now remove the container under the hoop. If you have practiced it enough, your rat should have no problem continuing to place the item into the hoop, and if not, you can go back to practicing a bit more with the container under the hoop, and then try again. By this point, you can also start to reward your rat from your hand outside the hoop, since they should now be placing the item into the hoop consistently without any luring help. All that's left is to vary where you place the hoop in order to really proof this behavior. If you plan on having your rat play versus basketball, you can now also teach them their specific hoop side by placing the hoop on their respective side and rewarding your rat over and over for placing it into the hoop. Once you have rewarded your rat over and over for placing their item into the hoop on this side, you can then introduce another hoop and later on another rat who has been trained to play for the other side. Alternatively, you can also turn this trick into a hand fetch by going back to the container and placing your hand over it, then rewarding your rat when they accidentally place the item into your hand when trying to place it into the container. Like with the basketball hoop, you can practice this a few times, then remove the container and just offer out your hand for your rat to place the item onto. And that's all there is to it! Training your rat basketball is the basis for many item tricks, and it gives your rat a lot more control over how they manipulate the item when learning tricks. If you want to train any item-based trick, I highly recommend training basketball first, because it will really help the master future item-based tricks at a much quicker pace, and with much less confusion or frustration. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hope to see you next time. Bye!